title, The Heartbeat of Harlem by Wisdom Chronicles. In the heart of Harlem, during the peak of the Harlem Renaissance, there was an underground jazz club known only to those who truly understood the soul of music. The club, nestled between two nondescript buildings, was a haven for the heartiest of hearts, those who sought refuge in the melodies of life. The entrance was marked by a single red light, flickering like the heartbeat of the vibrant neighborhood. Inside, the atmosphere was electrifying, with the sultry sound of a saxophone cutting through the smoky air, its notes painting stories of love, struggle, and triumph. The walls, soaked in years of music and laughter, echoed the vibrant history of a community that had seen the worst of times, but still danced to the best of tunes. Among the regulars was an old musician named Elijah, known for his magical touch on the saxophone. Elijah wasn't just a musician, he was a storyteller, and his instrument was his pen. Each night as he played, he drew an audience from all walks of life, young and old, rich and poor, black and white. They came for the music but stayed for the lessons embedded in each note. One evening, a young man named Samuel wandered into the club. Samuel was a prodigy, a gifted saxophonist who had mastered the technicalities of music but was still searching for its soul. He had heard tales of Elijah and came with a hope to learn from the master. As the night grew deep and the crowd thinned, Samuel approached Elijah with a mixture of reverence and curiosity. Sir, I've learned all there is to know about music, but I still feel like something's missing. How do you play with such heartiness, such soul? he asked. Elijah, with a gentle smile, invited Samuel to join him for a midnight duet. As their saxophones intertwined, Samuel played flawlessly, but his music felt hollow next to Elijah's deep, resonant notes. After the session, Elijah shared a story with Samuel. Many years ago, he began, there was a mighty river that flowed through Harlem. This river was unique, not because of its size, but because of its heart. No matter the season, whether in times of drought or flood, the river flowed with the same vigor, nourishing everything in its path. It wasn't the water that made the river special, but its unyielding spirit, its heartiness. Samuel listened intently, trying to grasp the metaphor. Elijah continued, In music, like in that river, technical skill is like the water, essential but not sufficient. It's the heartiness, the soul you put into each note, that makes music come alive. You must play not just with your fingers, but with your heart. Feel each note, live each melody, and let the music reflect your deepest emotions. The lesson struck a chord with Samuel. He realized that heartiness in music wasn't about perfection, but about passion and sincerity. It was about connecting with the listeners, sharing a part of oneself through the language of melodies. In the weeks that followed, Samuel became a regular at the club, learning not just from Elijah's words, but from the atmosphere of the place. He observed the patrons, the laughter, the tears, and the stories that unfolded each night. He began to understand that music was more than a series of notes. It was a reflection of life itself. Samuel's playing transformed. His notes, once technically perfect but emotionally barren, now carried a weight and warmth that touched the souls of those who listened. He learned to play with heartiness, infusing his music with the richness of his experiences and emotions. Years passed, and Elijah, now an old man, passed his legacy to Samuel. The young man, once lost in the technicalities of music, had become a master in his own right, playing not just with his fingers, but with his heart. In whatever we do, whether it's playing music, pursuing a career, or living life itself, it's the heartiness, the passion, sincerity, and soul we put into it that truly makes a difference. Like the mighty river of Harlem, our actions should flow with vigor and heart, nourishing and enriching everything in their path. For in the end, it's not just what we do, but how heartily we do it, that defines our legacy.